This water tunnel demonstrates the effects of water moving at high speeds. An object in the tunnel represents a hard outcrop of rock. At first, the water flows around the object without any apparent effect. But then they turn up the speed. A stream of minute bubbles appears. When those bubbles burst, they burst with immense force against the object. As the speed of water increases further, the bubbles collapse with ever greater intensity. The process, slowed down nearly a hundred times, reveals a long twisting thread emerging from the metal object. It is in this high-speed vortex of bubbles where the secret to the flood's incredible power lies. So if you, if you look at this, the first thing we see here is this very strong uh, vortex here. So you got like a sledgehammer effect. Every time one of these forms and collapses, bang, you got a sledgehammer. So could bubbles really gouge holes out of solid rock? to resemble the potholes in the scab lands? Slowed down 80 times, this experiment shows solid rock being drilled out by the power of bubbles. But what would this have looked like during the flood? As the flow of water from Lake Missoula surged through the scab lands, it would have hit some hard outcrops of rock creating a vortex of bubbles. Within seconds, these bubbles would drill through cracks in the rock and the turbulent currents would then scour out huge potholes. With this last mystery solved, it does seem plausible that a single giant body of water could create all the features of the sky.